Hello, my name is Liesl. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily create a video in Canva by combining two or more videos. I will also show you how to add page transitions, whether you're working on a school project, creating content for YouTube, or putting together a video for your business. This tip will save you time and make your workflow a whole lot smoother. So if you're ready to learn something new and super helpful, come along with me. To make this video, the first thing we need to do is to choose our format. Do you want a landscape shape video, like what you would use for YouTube, or portrait shape as for TikTok or Instagram? Either way, the same principle will apply. So we will go to create a design. And today I will use a landscape shape video. So here you can see um, you've got landscape videos, mobile videos, and so on. Let's do that. Now we've got our canvas open and I'm ready to insert my first video. Now, if you've recorded a video, you can go here to the left hand side to upload and you can go and upload your file. Okay. But I'm going to just use a video that I found here on um, Canva. So for that, you can go to elements. And you can go search elements and here Canva also has quite a few free videos available. So you can uh, look for anything that you like. Say, for example, you want a little bit of baking. Let's put in baking and you go here to videos. You will see lots of videos available for you to use. OK, but this is not the one that I'm going to use now. I'm going to go back here. To my recently used see all and i've chosen this video so i'm going to add that video now i'm just going to um, right click on it and set this video as background so that so that it fills the whole canvas and now that i've added the first video you will see a little space has come up here where i can add a page so click on that now I'm ready to add my second video. I want a video where the, the person is peeling an apple. So I've searched the Canva peeling apple video and all of these came up and I'm going to use the second one. So I'm just going to click that over, right click again and set this video as a background. OK, so this video, if you go down here, you can see it's 28 seconds um, long that's a little bit longer than what i want so there are two ways that you can make it shorter okay you can either drag the slider bars to make the video as short or as long as you would like or if you actually wanted to split the video in half um, for some reason you can actually go to the space where you would like to split it for example say yeah in this shot we want to split it and then simply click on the S on your keyboard and it will split it into two videos. Okay, so this is also quite useful for video editing. Okay, so I'm just going to drag this second clip of mine a little bit shorter, seeing that this is just an example. I'm also going to make this five seconds long. Let's see, this introduction one is 14 seconds. And then this third page I'm going to delete. So I'm just going to click on it and delete it. So let's quickly look at our video. Here at the top, you can see our total video at the moment is 19 seconds long. So let's play it. So there you can see video one doing the countdown. A little bit of noise. I think we can cut that out as well. And yeah, the bit of the apple peeling is starting. So that is how quick and easy you can just combine two videos. OK, let's, for example, purposes, just go and cut this video. So let's um, play it zero. And now I want to cut it there. So I will stop split delete this bit and now this one is much shorter at 6.6 .6, so let's quickly go and play it again so we've got the countdown 
it stopped and the apple starts. Now that we've created our little video, you're always welcome to add some text or other pictures, elements, whatever you need to. But today I'm going to show you how to add a transition. Now transition is a little bit of extra motion between the two videos that you've inserted just to make it more smooth and um, rounded off. Okay, so if you keep a cursor on the space between the two videos, you will see you will have two options. Either you can add another page, which you could do, or you can go down to this little icon at the bottom and add a transition. So let's click onto that. And here you will see all the transition options. And as soon as you hover over the transition option, it will actually show you what that specific transition will look like. So you can just hover over all of them and see which one is best for you. For this example, let's just go with a color wipe. As soon as you click onto your transition and you've chosen one, you will get a few other details. So you can choose to make it longer or shorter the time, in which direction it can go, and you would also be able to change the colors um, if that's an option. So I quickly want to do that. I want to change that to more of my brand colors. Okay, so I've chosen four, and let's quickly go and play this video for the last time to see how this looks. So we have the countdown. We have our transition and our peeling apple. Now there's only one last thing to do, and that is to download your video. So you can go to share, download. This is a video, so you need to choose MP4 video. If you choose JPEG or anything else, there will be no motion. Okay, so you can choose your video. Make sure that you choose all the pages that you want to um, incorporate in your video. So if you've created more pages down here, um, but you don't need all of them, then just exclude them. So we need page one and two. Download. And you're done. I hope you found this useful. I hope you learned something new today. And if you've got any questions, please leave a message down in the comments. Thank you and see you next time. Bye bye.